Hello my loves, welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Jess and this is my YouTube channel for astrology, tarot, intuition, channeled messages, and information sharing. In today's video, we absolutely need to talk about the lunar eclipse that's happening in the sign of Scorpio. There is so much energy and vibes of transformation and regeneration energies that are going to be very difficult and challenging but also energies that will feel positive supportive and uplifting especially if you're opening your heart up and you're opening your energy up to being seen for intimacy and deeper levels of connection all of which this eclipse is going to bring into your life so i hope that you're ready for it of course i'm going to be pulling the charts as i love to do you guys know this but i do have my tarot here with me and i'm going to be shuffling and pulling as we are talking in order to access even more information and messages from the guides from our angels to help us as we are swimming through these largely transformative waters so now would be a great time to grab a cup of tea a glass of water put some lemon in it some lime some mint grab a blanket light a candle get cozy and let's go ahead and dive right in So like I said in the very beginning of this video, this eclipse is happening in the sign of Scorpio. Scorpio is absolutely hands down one of the most intense signs in the entire zodiac. This is because it is naturally connected to the energy of the eighth house. And in the eighth house of our astrology charts, this rules the areas of our lives that connect to secrets that connect to release and death, deeper levels of intimacy and connection, and even the shadow self. It also connects to the energy of manipulation and control for good or for bad, depending on your intention. And all of these elements are going to be found within this lunar eclipse. Now, lunar eclipses are largely known for revealing certain truths, shining a tremendous light on an area or chapter in our life that needs to be exposed. So these heightened lights, heightened energies, height, heightened levels of awareness are traits, things that we are going to naturally watch unfolding in our lives and also in the world around us. This could be very deeply triggering for ourselves. It can be very deeply triggering in our relationships but it will also be something interesting to watch on the news across the globe as we see these events unfolding in real time through social media, Twitter, Instagram, on YouTube, etc., etc., especially if you keep an eye out on breaking news. I wouldn't be surprised at the time of this eclipse if we see information or revelations when it comes to people in positions of power and control how they're having major secrets being revealed or brought to light. I would also not be surprised if we're watching the news and we're watching people who have used and abused their power being brought to justice or having to answer for certain actions of the past. There's this emphasis on the energy of the past even at the time of this eclipse with Pluto retrograde, Mercury retrograde, and also Uranus breaking down status quo, institutions, people in positions of power. These are things that have been in the mix for a, a while. We're watching this in the breakdown of banking institutions currently. We're also watching this in the breakdown of politics and government, especially now that Pluto is retracing his steps out of Aquarius back into the sign of Capricorn. All of these energies are gonna be heightened and a light is gonna shine bright onto this at the time of the lunar eclipse so keep your eye out for that this is not anything that should be provoking fear however with scorpio energy these are aspects of life that is sometimes uncomfortable to look at but like i said during our astro chat live for those of you guys that don't know i go live every monday at 7 p.m eastern standard time and we talk about all the astrological breakdowns like i said during astro chat live 
there's this really strong connection of building a deeper bond with all of humanity and relating to each other, seeing how this breakdown is happening within the world around us, but also applying it where it should to how it relates to you in present day time. And that can be a really tough lens to look at because this could be looking into the parts of you that you might have guilt or shame. It might be dealing with areas that you have fear, things that we don't naturally like to talk about. It's uncomfortable, it's heavy, it's dark. Maybe we're not proud of it, but as we're watching it, it play out in present day time in breaking news or in global events, I wonder how you can apply this into your own life, into how you can become a better person, how you can learn from other people's experiences and show up in a way that is authentic to you, but also of a higher vibration because as a whole, this is where we are going together. To put it in a nutshell really quickly, the Scorpio lunar eclipse is going to shine a light big time on our fears, on our subconscious, on the things that is that we are needing to let go of for the sake of deeper intimacy, not only with ourselves and with our ability to connect with others, but also globally with humanity. What are we learning from collectively right now? What are the major themes that you are supposed to be living through and learning through? What also are you meant to let go of, to release, to surrender? That's the other thing that Scorpio rules is our ability to expel certain things within our energetic field, within our aura that no longer serve a purpose within our life, at least not in this season in our life. It may have served a purpose in the past, but now that you're here right now, the eclipse will show you that this very thing that you may have thought you had valued the most is the very thing that it served its purpose and now it's time to say goodbye, it's time to let it go. And as I say that, that can be very, very triggering. That can feel like an attack or harmful to your core state of being. But I wanna remind you that the planets were never here to hurt or harm you. What they are trying to guide you through is something that they can see from this higher lens that is going to be beneficial for you in the long haul. And as I'm looking at the eclipse, the moon is falling in the sign of Scorpio. The sun is sitting in the sign of Taurus. And this highlights our values. It hi highlights institution. It highlights our rules of society. What we have all collectively agreed that is important to us, which is important. But as we are growing and as we are evolving, do the same rules that worked for us in the past, do they still apply now? And this is where this eclipse says, let's have that conversation. Let's be open to change. It might be difficult to have. It might be difficult to talk about what's important to you or what you want right now. But this is going to give us deeper levels of intimacy and connection so that we can let go and release and expel the very things that were holding us back. The Scorpio lunar eclipse has the potential to be a game changer in so many ways but mostly because it's honest, it's revealing, it's transformative, it's revolutionary, and it's intimate. And these are energies that I think that every single one of us is probably ready for at this moment in time. And if not, I think you're pretty close to being ready for it. So let me go ahead and continue to shuffle the tarot for you, see what is gonna come up, and I will see you guys in the next portion of this video. All right, my loves, so I have bless the deck and I'm going to set intention that this reading resonate with those that it's meant to. I'm going to ask the guides to come through and to speak through the tarot to reveal the messages that are the most needed for you at this moment in time. I'm going to ask for discernment and clarity as I work my gifts. I'm gonna set the intention that you also have stronger intent um, discernment with what needs to be applied to your situation and as you're applying it, Put it where it belongs, if that makes any sense. So angels and guides from the highest lights, I thank you so much for your presence now. We are looking for guidance and insight into the Scorpio lunar eclipse. What messages do you need and want to share at this moment in time? 
Wow. Whoa. First cards to jump out are the Hangman Reverse and the Knight of Wands Upright. I'll show you guys them in just a moment. Then we also have the Queen of Cups Reversed following shortly after. Eight of Swords Reversed, Ace of Cups. Six of Wands Reversed. The World Card Reversed. Temperance Reversed. The Magician card upright and the Seven of Cups reverse. At the base of the reading, we have the Emperor. And as I picked that up, we had Seven of Wands jump out. So I know you guys noticed that as I was shuffling and pulling the cards, a lot of these energies were coming out reversed. And that is very largely telling because we also have Pluto retrograde, Mercury retrograde right now for the eclipse. Now, Pluto retrograde brings back issues, shadows, mysteries, secrets, things that have been lying dormant in the soil or the, the waters of our soul or the soil of our life, it brings them all up to the surface. And these have so much to do with Queen of Cups, our emotions, our depths, our how we strive for certain things. Are we using toxic patterns to manipulate to get what it is that we want are we using guilt are we using shame are we trying to um beg or manipulate something into existence sometimes we we look at other we look at our relations to others and how we talk to other people and we say no that's not me but also think about how you're praying how you're setting intention are you begging the universe are you begging the guides have you found yourself on a position where you're on your hands and knees feeling really desperate feeling for forlorn lorn, is that the word where you're just in emotional drought or feeling all of the things do you have fear do you have anxiety this eclipse will bring a light if you're not feeling that in this moment, but the moments in your life where you actually felt that when you felt like you lost your power, where you lost you emotions or your power was imbalanced in some major way. Temperance card is reversed here showing the energy of this felt like to you that it wasn't working out that the path whether you felt like you couldn't find yourself along the path or you didn't know where the path was taking you or you had fear in wherever the path was taking you you weren't trusting your intuition you weren't trusting the divine you might even feel disconnected from the divine or from your pow the powers that be seven of cups has you in this position of i don't know it's it's mental cloudiness it's mental fogginess it's also spiritual fogginess there is a chance that you might have felt that you were under spiritual attack that there is something that is invading your energy or invading your space whether it be an outside entity whether it be a curse whether it be a blockage or whether it be your own beliefs or whatever the case is right fill in the blank here this is something that you feel like you can't complete, you can't move forward. It's a challenge to you. It's not easy, it's not effortless. You have to strive for it, you have to force. For some of you guys, it's a mask that you wear to the world. On the outside, or you might be telling yourself, everything is fine, or I, you know, I, I can't relate to this just because my life is easy peasy lemon squeezy and I got all these things going for me and I, I'm with you, boo. I'm with you. I'm just wondering if you can relate to the part of you that feels like, what if I didn't show up like this? Would it all come crashing down? Would it all, would it, if I stopped showing up in this way, or if I didn't put on this mask, or if I didn't do this, what's going to end up happening? Is it all going to come crashing down? Is, is it going to be, am I going to be abandoned? Is this project going to be a flop? Is, am I going to lose everything? These are, internal beliefs and internal struggles that even on the surface level may seem like it's okay but at the deeper root if we dive a little deeper into those waters you'll you may start to realize that how you knight of wands show up for the world achieve a certain goal how you talk to others how you talk to yourself what you're chasing you'll you'll begin to see the very root of the source of where this is coming from and why it's so important to you and why it holds so much value by seeing it and shining a light on it you can become empowered 
Don't forget for one second that the Magician card is ruled by the energy of Mercury. And Mercury is very curious. It asks questions. It has a conversation. It's open to the dialogue. And if you are able to find the source, Ace of Cups, of where this fear and and feeling of insecurity or instability or this need to prove yourself or show up is coming from, then you're going to be able to find you're going to be able to locate the source of the trouble, the problem, the fear, the subconscious doubt, the subconscious belief, whatever that is, and begin to work to heal it, to set intention around it, to prioritize peace in those areas of your life. It's interesting because as I'm doing this reading for you guys, there's one person in particular that is showing up in this reading interesting because she's not someone who believes in tarot she's not someone who believes in spirituality she's not a close friend of mine but i've had a very deep conversation with her because if you've ever met me you know that conversations with me usually tend to get pretty deep even if we've only met for five minutes this person i'm not going to share her name or any other details because she's very private and very um has herself in a space of how she sees herself and how she wants the world to see her and I will respect that. It's interesting though that as I'm pulling the cards, her the image of her keeps showing up and I want to share it with you guys because I feel like it's significant. As I talk to her, right, she's someone who is very accomplished in her career. She's seems that she's very accomplished in her relationship. She has an amazing partner. Who, and both of them are very successful. She's very attracted to him. But one thing that keeps standing out to me every time I see her is the fact that her accomplishments, her rewards, and all these things that are going well in her life scream so loud in her conversation. And as her words, I, I, I want to believe that she feels like she's accomplished and that she's that everything is good and right, I can't help but to see this part of her that even though she's accomplished so much, I can't help but to see the part of her that feels very insecure and feels like she has something to prove, that she needs the approval of others, that it's almost like if it wasn't for all of these external accomplishments, if it wasn't for the love of her partner, if all of that was erased, would she still be able to love herself when all of those things, if all of those things were to be eradicated or if a part of her would die as those things would evolve or fall away? And that's a very extreme example and I do not wish that over her, but if you, I wonder if you can relate to all these external things, what would happen if they evaporated overnight? Would you still be able to look at yourself as a person who is worthy of love, who is just as significant and has just as much value without that degree, without these trophies, without this relationship, without that house, without that car, without that haircut? Would you still be able to look at yourself and love yourself if all of those external things were to evaporate immediately overnight, right? So that's one thing that's coming through um, as I'm shuffling the cards and I really feel like someone can relate to that. The other thing that I feel with this is that some Many of you have gone through a lot of transformation in some area of your life, whether it be your health, whether it be your body, your image, because those things are not related, but they can go side by side, whether it be your relationships, whether it be your purpose, your path. There's some area of your life that has been a journey for you, to say the very least. It has required so much from you it has almost drained you how you have to show up not because you want to but because you have to with faith with courage and with strength pulling from a space that i don't even think you understand how you're able to spiritually keep speaking life into this area of of your existence but it's because you had to it's almost like survival mode 
This is someone who has a multitude of different responsibilities, a multitude of different things that they feed into, whether it be their role in their career, whether it be in their business that they own, whether it be in, in their, um, not chores, but responsibilities in the day-to-day -day regimen and routine, whether it be how you show up for your, your partner, your, your kids, or whatever the case, this, this charity, this thing, all these different events, all of these different hats that you wear, all of these different characters that you portray. And Spirit is really coming through and saying that they are ex honoring the emotional exhaustion of this. And at the time of the eclipse, this is going to be a supreme time to, like a balloon, kind of let it all out and exhale. To completely let it out and exhale. And as you exhale, the next breath that you draw in is going to be a breath that says who and what I am now moving forward is going to be simple. It's going to be me. It's going to be in alignment. And this is energy that's going to be protected because I almost get a sense that as you look towards the future, there's a fear of responsibility, of burden, of baggage. And I think you're at the point within your journey that you are not wanting to, not because you don't want to, but because you energetically probably don't even have it in you anymore. You, you, you're not in a position where you're going to, you're going to want to be able to put any more burden or baggage, emotional burden or baggage or responsibilities on your shoulders. Now, now you just, it's not, it's not. Six of wands showing up reversed is saying that this person who has been strong has nothing more to prove and they never had anything to prove and there's going to be an energy here at the time of the eclipse that says i don't require myself to shoulder all of this now moving forward i understand that this was so much of a priority for me for us the community in the past but now if i'm being honest and vulnerable the best thing that I can do is ask for help and invite more people in so that I'm not the one who has to carry in all of this energy. So I'm not the one that has to be responsible for all of these mouths or all these different energies. I understand that there's so many things, people, places, energies, things that were able to feed off of me. And I actually wanted to give, but I gave all that I can give and now moving forward I breathe in new life into me that is going to be the eclipse for many of you guys that's what's going to be expelled is all of these little attachments to you you're gonna be slowly cutting them off and it's gonna feel like a breath of fresh air the same things that have been hanging and holding on to you are going to have to find new places to find sustenance to find life to find whatever it is that they got from your energy or from your gifts or for your contributions. They're gonna have to find a new source because honey, you are not it anymore. All those different extensions are gonna be extensions that you reconnect and realign to the divine. There was a, a, a reason why you showed up in all the ways that you did in the past, but now moving forward, it can't carry on the way that it was. It's not that you don't want to, it's simply that you can't. That's going to be the moment of truth for you. That's what the Scorpio lunar eclipse is going to bring to you. It's going to say, listen, I didn't need to strive for, this is a high school, college metaphor. I didn't need to strive for honors or to get straight A's and all of these different things and show up for these clubs and prove myself when ultimately all of that, I can see the benefit in it, but it has exhausted me. And if I sat with myself and if I sat with the divine and had a conversation with my higher self and the divine at the table, it would say that you don't need any of those things to prove your worth and your value. And ultimately, I can see why you would think that it's significant, but your path is going to lead you this way. Trust. Trust. And this is going to be the part of you that begins to bubble up and give you life. And I'm not going to say that it's not going to be easy and effortless and something that's going to be like, oh, now I know my path and I'm going to journey along through it. And it's going to be the most 
cool, calm, collected thing because I'm sure that as you deprogram <laughs> your existence and as you unplug yourself from all these external ports that were benefiting from all of your effort, when you unplug all of these ways that you were showing up because people expected that you had something to prove or that <clears throat> in order to, I don't know why, but the metaphor of like how kids in high school where <clears throat> they have to like, you want to strive for honors. Like you can't just be in like a regular class. You have to be in honors. Then when you're in honors, you have to make straight A's, but then don't forget that you need to have clubs that you go to and then you have to have community service and then you have to show up for your family but then you also have to have your homework but then you also have to have friendships and a balanced life and it's like then you have to eat healthy and go to the gym it's like that's a lot of expectation and all of it is because oh you have to get into the college of your dreams and then you have to nail your career and I can see on the external how all of that is beneficial and how all of that should be supportive for you and your journey and your path here of course but ultimately how destructive it is to feel in your core or your entire existence being about measurement and a achievement and accomplishment when the root of who you are has always, always been good enough. And somehow it's like, I, you know, is that still good enough? So I feel like <laughs> I've given a lot of um, real time examples but I feel like for many of you guys this eclipse is going to be about assessing all the different like an antennas that have rooted themselves onto you I feel like you're cutting them and pruning them and saying the only antenna that I need to plug into right now is the divine because I need to I want to be spiritually poured into because that is the thing that matters. That's what really matters right now. And from that source, it's not only going to give in to me so much, but it will provide for me. That's, that's what I need. That's what I need to plug into. That's where I, I, I charge myself from. And from that space, I'm gonna have to trust. And from that space, I'm gonna have to speak up. And for that space, I'm gonna have to quit. For that, if for, for this space that I'm in, I'm gonna have to put in my resignation letter. For this space, I'm gonna have to trim the fat and cut back because it was making me sick. It was making me energetically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically sick. And this is the part of you that is going to die. This is the part of you that is being released and you're gonna have be asked to surrender and to let it go. And then from that space, that there's a bubble. There's a bubbling, a, a, a bubbling of fresh water, pure water, divine water that's going to start pouring into you. And the path now moving forward is going to change forever and it will be blessed. So that is the message for today. <laughs> that is a lot, I know. But this is also a safe space. And I want to welcome you and even encourage you to use your comments <clears throat> down below as a journal of sorts if you'd like. <clears throat> this is a safe space. I'm going to go in and cut back the comments that if anybody comes in and is destructive or um, malicious or you know, doesn't have good intention. I can sense it. I can totally sense the vibe. So I'll cut them back. But in the meantime, guys, please use the comments to share your own stories, to connect and to relate with each other, to pour out your heart, to talk about your own experiences. This is what this YouTube channel is ultimately for. This is how, what I set intention for it. So it's there for you. Um, so I welcome that and I open the floor for you to share your own experiences, what this brought up for you. And for those of you guys that don't feel comfortable sharing with the world publicly, well, in this forum, I totally understand. Feel free to send me an email if you like or pour your heart into your journals, 1000%. And I hope you do have a journal because journaling is so transformative, so transformative, girl. Mm, 
I love my journals. Actually, after this video, I think I'm going to journal. I was going to go to the gym, but I'm going to journal. So just know that I'm here with you writing and, and channeling and we're all under these same transits together, going through it together. So you do have a friend. So thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I hope that this served you in some way. If it did, please give it a thumbs up because it shows me that you know my work and my effort here is appreciated and seen by you it also feels like a little hug for me on this end and i just always appreciate that type of love and support and encouragement especially in today's times and especially with on social media because that is a whole nother topic um also i do want to invite you to share this video with your friends and your family or if you wish you can subscribe to this youtube channel <clears throat> or not no pressure i know every time you go to a youtube channel they're telling you subscribe subscribe hit the thumbs up button hit the like i know i get it but it is significant so yeah but no pressure here clearly no pressure um but yeah thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me i do hope that our paths cross uh at some point in the near future and until then you guys i'm sending you my love and i will see you in my next video fingers crossed all right i'll talk to you later bye